He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walk off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. David Ortiz, an extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You betcha, Tyler Clifford. Fly ball, center field. NCRJ on the run. Still going on the right track. Stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right here. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Today, the third and final game in this three game series between the LA Dodgers and the New York Mets. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Jacob deGrom is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's got real good stuff. He won his ninth game last outing. Uh, he's going for 10 today. And I just think if he can get past the sixth or seventh, he's got a great shot of getting that 10th win. Now in the box, Andre Ethier. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. That's lifted the other way out to left. There to take it is Cespedes is one away. The chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, we're seeing a lot of lineups like this lately. This club has a lot of power, but not a lot of speed. Shouldn't be surprising. You don't usually have the combination of the two where you got speed and power, but their power, no speed. They have to hit the ball to the ballpark if they want to win. At the plate, Jock Peterson. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Over for a look here is Cespedes, but he won't have a play. It's a foul ball. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Ready on one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get it. a swing and a shot hit down the corner. Into the upper deck, but foul. That was the fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Now batting, Corey Seager, having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. Line toward center field. Lagares will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. 
Rich Hill, a left-hander from Massachusetts, will be doing the starting pitching here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Stepping in, Jose Reyes. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. Two and one now to Reyes. A high fastball is in there. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who's the one to watch, Dan? I'll tell you, this team could really use a turnaround from Cespedes. Watching his last game, he went 0 for 4, and it just looks like he's out of sync right now. Maybe this game is the game that gets him going. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, currently third on the team in stolen bases. So we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one, two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third. Into the box, right Michael Conforto. Michael Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. One, one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And the pitch. In there, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Still no score. So, stepping in, Justin Turner. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. That curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't get that big break away and it froze it. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. Swing and a little tapper, but that one rolls foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Three. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Dorno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. So striding in, Franklin Gutierrez. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Well, Johnson has gotten the inconsistent label before, but it's usually not too bad. Sometimes he's dead on with corner pitches, and other times he seems to tighten it up a bit. Up and down seems to be a similar experience, so we'll see how he does in this one. What good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Payoff pitch one more time. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. Here's Adrian now. 
hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. One and two, here it comes. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, he fell behind 0-2, and this is really the personality who he is. He didn't give up. He continued to fight and gets a base hit when it gets the 2-2 count. Foresight. Coming to the plate now, Logan Forsythe. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. One and one, here it comes. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Falling for it, Cespedes. And the inning is over. Dodgers leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. At the plate, Joanna Cespedes. And he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Well, let's take a look at the Dodgers defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Digging in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Again, a 1-2. Skied into straightaway right. Gutierrez is under this one. And there's the second out of the inning. Here's Jay Bruce now. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Ready on one and two. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And Gutierrez will make the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the Mets. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at City Field in Flushing, Queens, as we are ready for the third inning in this one. Digging in, Bobby Wilson. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Here's the one and one delivery. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now, Rich Hill. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. And the pitch on two and one. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. And 
and this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning. So in just one turn through the lineup that's already five strikeouts for him here in the contest and that'll bring us to our Mets leaderboard and as you can see he's currently second on the ball club in that department. Stepping in and ready for another shot Andre Ethier first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right but ultimately into the crowd a foul ball. Grounded up the first baseline to his left Bruce and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. One two three go the Dodgers home half of the third coming up no score. Here's the catcher Travis Darno, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Mm, right down the shoot that time, one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Gutierrez is there. One down. Batting eight. Center now with the plate, Juan Ligares. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Pitch on the way. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Ready with the one and one. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. A short stop. Digging in to try it again. Jose Reyes, hey, 0 for Reyes. 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Met strand one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Here's Jock Peterson now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And another foul ball. Now another 1 2. And a neck high fastball that time. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. And now, Corey Seeger. 
And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Well, clearly he's not sitting changeup with that swing. I like the early changeup. Now it sets up your fastball and all your other off-speed stuff because now the changeup, anything's faster than that. He's got him off balance now. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. Digging in for his second at bat, Justin Turner. He's 0 for 1 thus far. There's a hard hit ball, and it's going to get over the head of Ray as it's short. It's a base hit. Well, this guy's a really good hitter. You fall behind 3 to 1 to him, and you're going to throw him a fastball. You're probably giving up a base hit every time. Here's Franklin Gutierrez. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah and that hit might not amount to much but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. And that'll get down for a base hit. Breaking his heart Matt breaking his heart. You got two quick outs. He's thinking he's going to get cruise to this thing and now look at him. Boom boom base hits coming Thomas. back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. Stepping in now Adrian Gonzalez in the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And there's a pitch Gonzalez takes and we're back even at two and two. Well this is one of those big opportunities you look back and say did we learn anything now yesterday runners in scoring position in big situations I couldn't drive them in. Now you got a chance to show you and the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Dodgers strand a couple on to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score. Ready for another chance David Wright comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted right that pitch. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Michael David Wright Marco. is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. Got him. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. Called a strike and it's full three and two. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Another one sent foul. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Another full count pitch home. On the ground to the left side. Turner's got it. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Into the box now. Logan Forsythe. 0 for 1 for him here in this one.
No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Riding in once again, Bobby Wilson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Squared that one up just a little late. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. That's back to back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. In now, Rich Hill. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And Reyes will put this one away, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. Halfway home, still no score. Digging in now, Neil Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the 3 and 0 pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Gutierrez on the move. One out. First baseman number Now with the 19. plate, Jay Bruce. Fly out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Hit on the ground out to short. Seeger has it. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go, right there. A big goose egg in that hit column, worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. One and two, here it comes. Line drive to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. At the plate is Andre Ethier. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. Now batting. Center fielder. Here's Jock, Jock Peterson now. Peterson. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Boy, that was filthy right there. That was a great indicator of how well he's throwing the ball. He's doing nice in the game, but that pitch was filthy. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Stepping in now. Corey Seager. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Cespedes on the move. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And he'll make it in there with a two out double. So some life with two away as he's into second with the opposite Third field double. And as we Justin call on our team leaderboard, you can see he's up to 35 now on the year. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Justin Turner. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far.
And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. Called strike two. We're really watching a great performance. This is a good hitting team. He's got two outs already in the sixth inning. We're one out away from watching him get through the sixth with all zeros on the board. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Digging in for his second at bat, Juan Ligares. He drew a walk his first time up. Set to deliver on two and one. Takes a knee high fastball. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, they've got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Lagaras will go to second base. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Go now ahead. the go-ahead run is Edgar. on second. A Shake base hit away from Come coming on. across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. Riding in once again, Jacob DeGrom. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. A runner at second, nobody out. T.J. Rivera will come off the bench Entry now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second Number and nobody 54. out. T.J. Rivera. Pickoff play at second, and he'll dive back in. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time, one and two. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Loved by Turner. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Well, that's a nice infield single. And was he flying down the line or what? But, man, he used to say, hey, he's smelling that base hit right there. He was digging for that hit. Ready for another shot now. Jose Reyes, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Pickoff move to second, back in standing. Come on. Let's go now. Face it here. Getting a few steps off a of second there. Now the pitch. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. Number five. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. Runner back standing. Three and one, here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Runner's going. Swing and a missed strike three. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Don't know if that was a true hit and run there with two strikes or not, but he's into second base safely on the strikeout. 
digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he's down on strikes. So they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Hansel Robles is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 47, Ansel Robles. Here's Franklin Gutierrez, a hit in two tries so far. Here it comes on one and one. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. Here's the 2 1 to Gonzalez. Line toward the alley in left center. And Gonzalez is going to have himself a base hit. He just scorched that ball off the wall, and now the question will be should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Into the box now, Logan Forsythe. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He's set and the payoff pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Conforto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for L.A. We are still scoreless. Here's Juana Cespedes. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. And this is going to be a foul ball. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Misses, ball two. Boy, I don't know if that was a great take or he's just flat out full because that curveball was really close. What a great pitch with two strikes. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Yeah. 
lays off that time and it's one and two. The one and two pitch to short hit hard a dive but he can't knock it down it's through for a base hit. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. That is a great two-strike approach. Spread his legs out, kept the hands back, and just punched the ball through for a ground ball base hit. Here's Jay Bruce now, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and the runner will get back standing. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the go ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold there with up nobody the out. Catcher. Travis. Oh, no. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Pedro Baez Pedro will come on now, and he'll slide into the, the seven spot in the lineup the following the double the switch. Chase Utley is into the ball Pedro game as well, Baez. as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, Number hitting ninth second, now on the double the switch. Number 26. Ready for another Chase chance? Utley. Travis Darno. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. Throw in time for the first out, but in the meanwhile, the go ahead run is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Juan Ligares. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. One and one, here it is. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Throw won't get him. Well, that base hit right there gives him two-run cushion. When you have a two-run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Wilmer Flores will look to provide a little punch off the bench as he'll hit with runners at the corners and one out in the inning. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. And that is through for a base hit. And the move to the bench would pay off handsomely. Well, that's a big base hit right there. And now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And the lineup turns over now for Jose Reyes. Three runs already home here. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Well, that change up right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that change up, back to back change ups, and he fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. A bullet to first base. Throw back to the bag, and the runner's back in time. Digging in, David Wright. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. 
Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, late in a game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. So they pick up three runs on four hits here. No errors. And two men left stranded. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Mets three. And the Dodgers nothing. Jerry Blevins has been summoned from the bullpen the as he'll Mets. do so to start the number eight. 39, Jerry Blevins. In is the second baseman Chase Utley and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Aye. Two and two. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up give a big hit maybe even a home run drop a bunt do something but this offense has to get going. Here's another two two turned on down the line and a reach to his backhand but he can't come up with it and the leadoff man's aboard. Well that's what you want right there late in the game leadoff single now they still got some work to now do they got the tying run on the on deck circle Andre but they've got a shot here. now. So a runner at first now with nobody out and stepping in now is the left fielder Andre Ethier. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1 ground ball to second. This could be two. Reyes on to first and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. Here's Jock Peterson now. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Here comes the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He'll try it again three and two ball four man that's just painful for a pitcher right there a three two offering that was right on the corner but he couldn't get him to chase and he doesn't get the call can't beat yourself up about that one too much he's set and the two one pitch hit hard to short. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. They trail it here three to nothing. Adam Liberatore is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 36, Adam Liberatore. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Here's the 1 1. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to 1 and 2 now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Inside. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. This one's flared toward left center, calling for it, Ethier. And that's the first out of the inning. The left fielder number 52. It's been a low scoring Your affair. Winner. Three to nothing our score as we show you the numbers for our two starters to this point in the contest. Here's Joanna Cespedes. 
He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Come on, man. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Both teams with six hits so far. Hit in the air to left. Waiting on it is Ethier, and Andre puts it away for out number two. Now a couple of good pitching Second performances by both clubs Neil here. Three Walker. nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Here's Neil Walker. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the one and two. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two and they'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Here we go. Pitch on the way. Hard hit ball to short. Seeger is right there and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Mets go down one two three but they lead it three nothing. Jerry Spamilia comes on now from the pen, the hoping to finish this one Number off here in the top of the ninth. So coming to the plate, Justin Turner. And then what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching. But the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. So it's a leadoff single that kicks off their half of the ninth. This guy's just a good hitter. You can tell. Anytime you get a base now hit on two strikes and you Frank stay with Miller. that ball right there, Franklin that's why the other. average is going to stay over 300. Standing in now, Franklin Gutierrez. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. In now, Adrian Gonzalez hits sharply toward the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, that's a base hit right there. Now they got two runners on. This may be their best opportunity to get no, on the board. They've been shut that's out right. the whole game. Adam Liberato. Yes, he'll Puig. We'll get the call Benjamin here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 66. Yasiel Puig. strike and he's behind one and two not too often Jerry's familiar finds himself in a tough spot like this but I wouldn't bet against him he has the kind of stuff that he can get out of this mess and that's through into right field for a base hit and a good throw is going to hold that runner at third so they're loaded now with only now, one away well that right there is Bobby perfect for taking Wilson. the ball inside and shooting it the other way you hear that terminology hands inside the ball the only you're way right, you're going to do that is to pull your hands in hard and stay Angela. inside the baseball nice Number piece of hit Scott Van Slyke. bases are loaded with only one out now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there 
And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. So stepping in, Chase Utley. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on the first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Three nothing the final score in this one today. Hansel Robles earns his third win of the year in relief. Jerry Spamilia earns the save out of the bullpen his 32nd of the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more. Make your way on over to the shownation.com. score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs, six hits, no errors. They left five minutes. Along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> Call the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give them the gold glove right now. I can't imagine there are many people in this.